Sometimes, the shape of your ocular surface can make wearing contact lenses uncomfortable or practically impossible. In this episode of Aki Talk, optometrist Kimberly Castillo will be telling us all about the process for making custom contact lenses called eye print prosthetics. She will explain why they are needed, the process for being fit, and how they are actually made. Hello, and welcome to Aki Talk. Today, we'll be speaking with optometrist Kimberly Castillo. Dr. Castillo, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are yourself? Good, thank you very much. To get us started, uh, how about you tell us a little bit about your practice, your specialty, uh, and how you got started? Yes, so I went to Western University of Health Sciences. I graduated in 2017. In June of 2021, I purchased my practice. The practice was established in 1950, and I'm the third owner of the practice. Um, I'm a little bit of a Renaissance person where I like to do a lot of things. So my practice does um, a lot of dry eye treatment, specialty contact lenses, uh, and vision therapy. Well, for our conversation today, we were hoping you could talk to us a little bit about eye print prosthetics. What are they? A scleral lens is a special type of lens that is used to help patients who have irregular front surface of their eyes, such as keratoconus. The idea behind it is that the scleral contact lens, and this is what it looks like, it's actually hard. So it maintains its shape like this, and it can be used to basically create an artificial front surface of the eye. For patients who have abnormal corneas, they can get aberrations in their vision that cannot be corrected with glasses or contacts. And so this specialty contact lens is the only way to give them clear vision that they couldn't have otherwise. I have actually fixed scleral lenses on patients who have keratoconus, if you, people who are even in their 30s where it started half of their lifetime ago when they are teenagers and they've never worn a scleral contact lens before. When I put it on there, when I wear it for the first time, they I've had patients start to cry because all of a sudden they can see in a way that they've never been able to see before or haven't been able to see in you know over a decade. So that's a really fulfilling thing to do. Patients who have highly irregular front surfaces of their eyes, such as patients who have had keratoconus with a corneal transplant, or patients who have other lumps and bumps on their eyes, such as a pinguecula or uh, the conjunctiva, which is the clear tissue on top of the white part of your eye, is very loose. Those patients do not technically do well in this traditional scleral contact lens. And that's where the eye print uh, prosthetics or eye fit prosthetics lenses come into place because they create a highly customized uh, scleral contact lens where we actually make a mold of the front surface of the eye. And that mold uh, can be used to make a scleral lens that is almost like a glove that fits the eye perfectly and account, it can account for these abnormal uh, front surface of the eye's issues. So the custom print contact lenses are meant for people who have uh, unique structures to the eye? Are there any other conditions that would require the use of a, a custom printed contact lens? Some patients who have been fit with a traditional contact lens have issues with the lens getting foggy in the middle of the day. And it is possible that the eye print prosthetics can help with that issue. And so that would be another indication to use that lens. What about normal ocular surface? Like a patient with a perfectly normal ocular surface, would you ever recommend a custom printed prosthetics for that patient? Typically I wouldn't because the cost of the lens is fairly high and there are other options that are perfectly fine that could work for patients with normal ocular surfaces. What is the process once you have determined that your patient is going to get custom printed contact lenses? The process starts with creating the mold on the front of the eyes. We use a little device like this 
uh, to inject with um, a little, this device here, we inject a blue um, putty into the lens. They call it goo. <laughs> and after you fill it up, it looks something like this. Um, and then what you do is you slip this onto the eye and then pay for a minute. And then you take it out and the mold will look something like this. Now what we do is we take this mold and we send it into the lab and the lab analyzes the data and create that customized lens. How long does the production process usually take? After we send the mold into the lab, it takes about one to two weeks for the lenses to come back to the office. And what are the lenses made of? They're made of gas permeable material that allows oxygen to flow through the lens uh, to the eye. And how often do they need to be replaced? Is this uh, as your vision changes scenario or do they need to be replaced every six months? What does that look like? Yeah, so these lenses can last one to three years. We do need to replace them even if the vision hasn't changed because with time the lenses just kind of get grody with protein deposits and things like that that can get in there. They might get scratched and things like that. So what is the care process like for these lenses? The care process is the same as a traditional scleral contact lens or another type of specialty lens is called an RGP or a rigid gas permeable lens. You basically, it's very similar to how you take care of a regular soft contact lens, but you're just using different uh, cleaning solutions that are specific for the specialty hard lenses. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me.